Hey guys, this is BBS with ITSH Production. I am about to go through a haul that I did way before quarantine. Um, I want to say... I'll put the date right here, or here, or here, whatever, wherever it fits. I did it then, <laughs> and I remember it was a foggy day, and I took my mother-in-law with me, and this lady had a vintage store online, and she... Ooh, my hair. Ooh, hello. She had a clothing store that she did online. Her website was something vintage, vintage something. I remember I tried looking it up, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and I was going to go back to her house, but that was a little weird. Again, this was before quarantine, so it's been months and months and months and months. It was either January, February, or March, because we went into quarantine in March. And we went to this yard sale. I started picking up items, of course. And I think I have everything in one box. If I don't, oops. Because I got 15 items and I spent $15. That's right, a dollar a piece at a yard sale. I think I was one of the people that like bought the most stuff. The lady that was running it said that there were two ladies. They came in super early and they just bought a ton of stuff and I think they do what you do. How do I not meet these people? I meet people that live, I see them on YouTube and Instagram, but the closest ones that I know of in my area live four hours away. This is my haul from this date and now this has been sitting for a long time so I'm going to go through these with optimism because I don't remember what I got. <laughs> I remember what it looked like in her front yard and I remember talking to her. If you hear anything it's literally my dog just discovering new things in this room so oh, itchy nose. <laughs> Like I said, this has been sitting, so it's has a little dust built up. I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit. Love my hair. I feel like I look like Disney's Brave. Merida. Merida. <laughs> Valen's like, what are you talking about? All right, so this is my first piece of clothing. I want to say it's a top. It looks like a top, but it is kind of like one of those ponchos that you get from Mexico, or they say are made in Mexico. Zipper down the back. It is staring at stars size zero and it's stitched in there and this is all stitching so there we go Pamela will you quit walking around sheesh <laughs> so staring at stars size zero the next one is going to be I really was going to list this for um, Halloween and I completely forgot I had it it is a crop top Franken weenie. It's alive! A film by Tim Burton, Franken Franken weenie. It is a Disney. It is a medium. And it is a crop top t-shirt. How do I look? Wait, wait for it. I don't want it to fall. Hello. Shamoing. It looks kind of good on me, but I'm not a medium. <laughs> Okay, so medium frankenweenie. Okay, Pamela, get your head out of the bag. You can picture a dog sticking her head in a paper bag. It's exactly what's happening right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this one for last because I literally left and then came back just for the shirt. So I'm gonna leave that one for last. This one is by Pins and Needles. It is a size medium, assuming you can see it now that my face is up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, size medium. A little sleeveless but ruffle edged a little bit sheer but it covers where it needs to cover I'm gonna actually undo my fold retailer fold so used to holding stuff all right the next one I got totally off of style I'm not even sure what the brand is double zero is a size small it has a little bird with a heart this is a cool looking style it makes me think of like a brewery or like, if you've ever been, you guys need to look up Google Tooth Sums. So T-O-O-T-H, tooth, and then sum, S-O-M-E, one word. Tooth Sums, Chocolate Emporium, 
and this right here makes me think of that cottage core, which apparently is trending. It has a little one of these underneath, but it makes me think cottage core, but also very steampunk vibes because it does have leather on it. Super cool. I don't know if it's true leather or not, but it is awesome. And again, it is a size small by double zero. That is the back. Super cute. It has the ruffle at the bottom. Palin, stop showing your paw. I like those. They're cute. Next, at her yard sale, she had she has uh, the trees and they have really droopy down branches, maybe even like oaks. She had her scarves and blankets and bigger items hanging from them. And this was one of the scarves. This is black. I know the light's hitting it very bright. It's black and it has kind of like rope tassels and they're very pretty the way that they're tied. Here's just one strand. You can see the knotting's very lovely. It's by, I think you can see that as long as my eyes aren't in the photo. And then the next item, it is CNV Chelsea and Violet size medium. It is also new with tag, new with tag. Polyester spandex, looks like suede. You got a little Indian vibe. Love it. Size medium. Stretchy skirt. Again, it's by Chelsea and Violet. Size medium. Next, another scarf. Shake, shake, shake. And this is a darker color, again, than you see on there. I feel like, how far away can I put it before the light doesn't make it so... Can you see how dark it is? No. <laughs> So yes, look Bailey, it's so rushy. Makes me think of the flappers. But is there a tag in it? Doesn't look like it. Oh, oh there's one. Free press, polyester, machine wash warm. I would hand wash personally, it is very light. Free press. And it is not a scarf. When I saw free press, I was like, wait a minute, that was like a kimono. Here are the sleeves. That's the back. I'll get all the way down to the bottom. That's the back. And then the sides. So it's the top. Look at that ruffle. Ooh. And then you've got your gorgeousness down at the bottom. So that's kind of a cover up kimono. The next one is going to be a pair of shorts and the brand is Buffalo David Bitten. And I want to say these are linen. They're size 10, 100% cotton, but they do have, I mean, you can kind of tell by just looking, they're very thin. So very breathable. And the color on them is hard to see. This is like a blush pink. If you can see the difference there. And this is like a heathered. Well, you can see it right there. That looks pretty dang accurate, at least on my screen. So that's the front and that's the back. The back doesn't have any pockets. Front does right there. All right. And it has the cuffed bottoms. The next one needs a little steaming because it's been rolled and put away. But this is a Forever 21. We all know what that is. It is a size large. Oh my gosh, I can fit it. 50% linen, 29% rayon, and 21% cotton. So this is super nice. Cuffed bottom, sailor buttons. Love it, love it, love it. And can you imagine how high-waisted this is? Right there is seven inches, so that's like another three, at least. And then the buttons themselves look really nice. I might try these on. I might need extra large, but I am willing to try. For me, finding a pair of shorts that don't either suffocate me or make me look like a hoochie. Very hard to come by. Or anything that makes me look like a, a boy. So, these, oh my lord, they're not what I expected. I thought these were going to be uh, bill bass because of the fit, but these are not short. So, these are by Copper Key. They are extra large, that's why I figured they were my size and they are copper colored. New with tag, there's the copper key. They are corduroy, but they're a smooth corduroy, and they aren't really red or orange, they're copper. So if you can imagine copper, it's like penny brown. Yep, and it's a skirt. My next one 
It is by Riley and James, size large. Riley and James, size large. And it's not a skirt. They're swooshy pants. Oh my god, will they fit me? Oh, okay. The top, I love. I love this top. And it's stretchy as heck. My big butt might be able to fit in it. And then see the bottoms on this? I don't know if these would be long enough for me. Probably not. There are hopes. I do have hope. And then the pattern is very pretty paisley. Hippie, boho, awesome. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this one is, but it says OS. Obviously small. I don't know. OS? I don't know. Oversized? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna go with small. But this does not look small. Look at that. I got this because it has the dolman, 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 dolman sleeves. So it has the sleeves like this. So it's kind of like, it makes me feel like a moth. So there's the waist and then the sleeves just kind of come out right there. Nothing on the back, but it is Michael Stars, which is a high-end brand and it's lightweight, breathable, and has some nifty sleeves. Then this one is what may be the last one, but we'll find out. It is also new with tags, also Disney. So Disney, extra large, right, does it say it? We all know what Disney is. It is an embroidered, fully brand new embroidered Mickey and very embroidered. Let's see the back, it's always my kicker. All right, so it's a full patch all the way through, Ooh, all the way through Mickey. So that is literally sewn on to the shirt, but it is a Disney branded shirt and it is a crop top. It is my size, but I don't have the confidence to do this. <laughs> and like I said, it is new with tags. Extra large indigo, which this is like a denim, is what they mean by indigo, and then yellow white stripes. There we go. I don't want to take the tag off, but I am tempted to wear it. <laughs> and that is all that's in that box, but this was the one that I actually left and came back for, and I'm glad that I did. I don't know what how it's gonna do. The brand is called Desert Trip, and I don't think that's a brand. I think that's actually a concert, but it's a size medium. This is what it looks like. It's Desert Trip. I wanna say it's a version, a very, very small, I'm saying like Woodstock and Coachella, not that level per se. It, it is called Desert Trip, Golden Voice Presents, In California, Friday Night, The Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan and His Band, Saturday Night, Paul McCartney, Neil Young, Promise plus Promise of The Real Wow, I'm reading backwards, and then Sunday Night, Roger Waters, The Who, and this was October, October 7th, 8th, 9th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, Emperor Polo Club Indo. That's pretty cool. I mean, look at that. And I can tell you that's not 2020's concert because because nothing happened in 2020 and I got this before October of 2020. That should be my last thing, but just in case this actually came from that haul from the yard sale that I'm just going to add this to it just in case, even though it has a tag on it, which confuses me. This is leather. You can tell by the back of it. That's really pretty. It's not as red as it looks on the camera. It's actually not red really at all. It looks more like chocolate to me. It is very long. Perfect condition. These two look like they might have been used a couple times. But then there's this guy. Do you see this guy? It has hammered markings to make it look authentic. Can you hear that? That's actually good, good heaviness right there. So leather belt, I don't think it goes with this haul. I don't know how, how many items did I have? Taking the purse out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That bag would have been fifteen. So I'm guessing these two items don't actually go with this haul. So these are fourteen items right here that I got from the yard sale for sure. So these are the fourteen items from the yard sale. And then I did get that, um, I'll, I'll go grab it so you can see it. Let me pause this. The last item that I had from that yard sale is this guy right here. I was using him a lot and then just didn't, he's just been sitting on the shelf. It's E-W-W-E. -E. I know it sounds like world wrestling at the end of that. There's a zipper here and it's vibrant and it has very sturdy zipper. 
Everybody was ignoring this little guy along with some other items sitting on the ground, but the inside of it, can you see how soft that is? It is so soft. It is ridiculous. I don't know what it's made out of, but it is so soft. It's perpendiculous. But yeah, so this is the inside. And that's the zipper on the front, the gorgeous blue. So it's like copper, teal, and tweed-ish kind of um, chevron. And then super sturdy zipper that actually comes from both sides, which you don't get with even the best quality items sometimes. I wish it had some kind of like bag strap or handle or something, but it is what it is. You mostly just stick this into another bag, but it is big. And it is bendy and it is padded. That would have been right there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get up underneath it. My 15 items for $15 in its entirety. So I had Disney t shirts, crop tops, uh, swooshy pants with lace tops, concert tees, uh, scarves, a steampunk kind of vibe from one top slash dress, depending on how tall you are, how short you are. That uh, kind of Mexican poncho looking top skirt thing dress. One piece or one piece or whole piece, depending on how tall, short, long you are. And then like the Michael stars with the dolman sleeves and such. We also had these two items that came from a different haul. But I'm not sure where they came from. They were in the bag and I'll just keep them with it because they kind of fit the vibe, but I'm taking this out because it's mine for sure. But this one right here with the very floofy, I don't think it'll fit me, but I'll try it on. Like I said, for the millionth time, this was my haul from, I don't know, I'll put the date here if I haven't just left it here already. And I'm just gonna put all of this back in its and fold these leather pieces and these little pieces inside. And a lot of these are new with tag. And then see these little flowy things? I'm gonna fold those in to keep them safe. These were folded and rolled individually, but now I have to list them, so why be pretty about it? <laughs> this is now its box, all in there. And I'm just going to put these on top even though they don't belong together. They need to be separated into their individual piles. And by that I mean t-shirts with t-shirts. And I say that loosely. Any kind of t-shirt, well, whether it's cropped or not. Tank tops, razorbacks, spaghetti straps, anything like that are in another thing. It's tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve, all tops. So no matter if it's a blouse kind of t-shirt or this kind of t-shirt, it's going to be in t-shirts. Jackets with jackets, pants with pants, jeans with jeans, whether shorts or pants, you know, short or long. Um, jean, jean, like whether they're these or their shorts. Bags with bags, but this leg's staying with me. Belts with belts, scarves with scarves, I think you can see right here. Ties with ties, jackets with jackets. Side note, all of this, all of this in this room has not been listed. <laughs> you heard me right. Nothing you see in this room has been listed. The day that this back wall is empty is the day I've listed everything. It'll be a very decorated back area. Side note is that um, if you've seen this box, this is a totally different haul that I just put up here, but underneath this haul is a whole Rubbermaid that starts right here and goes all the way to the wall over there and it has bags in it like yep oh yeah okay now i'm gonna start rambling because i don't want to go to the next thing which is just another haul <gasps> ah, i'm happy have a good night or day or year maybe it's the next year by the way it's 2020 that's why i'm like this of course, I say that because you guys don't know me. So yeah, I'm like this because of 2020. Yeah. That's honesty. Sorry, my eyes are dry.